Hey everyone, Joy here. It's uh, July the 9th, 2014. It's a Wednesday. And guess what? I ordered some new camera cords to go with my camera. And my lightning fast mind finally remembered I'm at my other house. And this house actually has internet faster than a snail's pace. So I decided to make a little vlog. You know, that's a video log. I wonder what blog stands for. Hmm, biography log? I don't know. Obviously, blog is video. I don't know what blog is. Anyway, I want to show you what I'm making. Phyllis is laughing at me because I bought another silhouette pattern, and silhouette patterns give us absolute total fits. Uh, I don't know if this one's going to turn out or not, but so far, all the pieces are in the envelope, and I've cut out the pieces and this is my muslin and now I don't know what it is about turquoise material lately but it seems like every time I go look in my closet for something to make a muslin out of it turns out to be turquoise remember the frogs turquoise and remember the ones that I made after the frogs because my sister said they look like pajamas and so I went and I got another piece of fabric that was a denim and turquoise. So this is my third set of turquoise crop pants. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to sew these up this afternoon and see if the pattern's going to fit at all. But the pattern's cute. Peggy's envelopes. I don't know. I have emailed her before and told her you can never see what the garment looks like. This lady's sitting down and has one knee crossed over the other knee. You can't tell what the waistband looks like. You can't tell what the back looks like. You can't tell what the length of them is. You can't tell if there's pockets or no pockets. So you have to look at the back and figure out what they are. It's basically like a pair of jeans, but they come down lower on your waist. They have a wide waistband to come down lower on your waist. I could do sure fit designs, and I'll probably end up having to do that anyway. But for some reason, I thought... You know, maybe the shape of the leg would be better than I could draw with sure fit designs. It looks like it fits tight around the bottom of her calf, and I want that. So, anyway, we'll see. But I wanted to show you something else. I made this jacket. Oh, when was it? Christmas time, I guess. I think it's a simplicity pattern. And I remember telling you about it. That it has a ruffle going all the way around, up and around the neck and back on the front. Well... I had issues with that ruffle. Number one, it was too wide, and it looked like it was crawling up my throat and going to strangle me, so I cut part of it off, and then I couldn't figure out the directions on how to put the ruffle on, and so finally I figured that out and got it on, and then Philly came over and helped me with it and told me what to do to make it look better on the ruffle, and so I did that, and then I got that done, and I put it on, and I thought, oh, this just looks ridiculous on me. I'm throwing it away, but for once in my life, Instead of throwing it away, I just put it on Betty, Betty Blue, and I just left it here at this house. And so it's been at this house for months now on Betty Blue. So I decided yesterday, since I was bored, Jerry was here, and I needed something to work on, I thought before I throw that in the Goodwill bag, I'll try it on one more time. And so I tried it on one more time, and lo and behold, I suddenly love it. I'm going to try it on real quick. Hold on, tell me what you think. It probably doesn't go with this green top, but that's what I'm wearing. So, it's there right there. It's right here in the hall on Betty Blue. Let me try to, oh, look how nice it is inside. Can you see if I hold real, real still? All the seams, what do you call this? Oh, there's seam binding around the edges of all the seams. There's a name for it. You know, it's French or Japanese or... German or something. I don't know. Anyway, Sandra Benzina does it. And so I finished all the seams. See the armhole? It's finished with the bias tag. And here's the ruffle down the front. See the ruffle? It's cut on the bias. It's a single layer ruffle. And it's sewn to this band down the front. And what I did was I made this band thinner to put the ruffle on and for somehow that helped and then see how I put this binding all around that so this is my new jacket you know I love black and white let me put it on and see if I can get it adjusted I have a new song by um by um 
Matthew Hagee. And it's called, I Don't Want to Get Adjusted to This World. Oh, is this cute or what? What do you think? I don't ever make jackets. It's really rare. It's still got threads hanging here and there. I need to get those off. But what do you think? Huh? There's no zipper. There's no buttons. There's no snaps. You just kind of hang it loose. Oh, here's fuzz on the boob. So, if it had a black knit tee under it, or a white one, or red, or royal blue, I don't know, I guess green. Hey, it kind of looks alright with green, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show it to you. I'm so excited that I like it and I'm going to keep it. So that's my two projects for this week. Jerry just left to go back to our other house, so I'm here alone until a week from today. So I'm going to make my polka dot pants and a top to go with them. That's what I'm going to work on when Philly comes Saturday. I'm going to make a knit top to go with these, well, if they turn out. I have another piece of fabric I can use that I bought today if those don't turn out. So anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. And I had to put Jackie out back because... You know how she loves to be in my movies. And she's so big now. She's like a bull in a china closet. And she just knocks everything over. So <laughs> I had to put her in the backyard. But I'll let her back in in a minute. So I don't feel sorry for her being out in the heat. Anyway, hello and goodbye. This is Joy signing off. Mm-hmm. <laughs>